is how I went from a book that got rejected over a hundred times to a six-figure book deal. So I went to school for film production and realized after college, crying again here, but I realized I liked creative writing and that I needed to do that and I just kind of wrote a novel out of nowhere. This was all while I was at my fashion videography job and I then like finish the novel and try to query it and everyone rejects it. Literally over a hundred rejections. Querying is when you try to get an agent and then that agent will ultimately sell your novel. Given that I had quite literally no idea what I'm doing, I'm still kind of shocked that I finished a novel at all. While working on this novel, I also went viral on BookTok and started doing content there, which was so fun, but it did not help this novel go anywhere. What it did do is give me the financial flexibility to quit my job and focus much more on learning how to be a better writer. I then literally scrapped that first novel completely and wrote a whole new novel and it was much better than the first one. That novel is One Last Shot, which is my debut that comes out in May about a supermodel and a photographer who reunite on a photo shoot in Italy for One Last Shot I Love. It was a little bit heartbreaking to scrap an entire book, but ultimately that book helped me become a better writer and I know that One Last Shot is so much better because I wrote that other book first. I had studied the craft of writing and practiced and outlined and I just was a better writer when I wrote it. I got my amazing agent through that book and we revised it together, which was so fun and so hard, and then she put it on submission. An editor at St. Martin's Press, which is an imprint of Macmillan's, read the book right away, and she was the first person I met with. She just saw the book exactly as I did, but was like 10 steps ahead of me, and I knew she would make it better, and she ended up making a preempt offer, like, I think it was the next day, it was right after, and it was a six-figure offer, which was literally a dream and for multiple books. We still have revised like literally so much more together, but she has been an absolute dream. And now you guys know my book comes out in May and it feels so special because for literally so long, I thought that I would never have a book deal. So anyways, one last shot, go pre-order it.